Hello everyone, so I wanted to jump on really quick and um, do a video. I have been sewing with my sewing machine now for a couple months. Um, cleaned it twice, replaced the needles, um, maintained maintenance on it, and all of a sudden I started to get a bunch of these bird nest loop thingies. And I know um, one of the biggest causes for that is tension but my tension is fine. It, it's not, nothing happened to it that would make it out of tension or anything like that. So I changed the, ne changed the needle, made sure everything was threaded right, um, completely cleaned out the machine. Um, there is a laundry list of different things that you can do to see uh, if it was what was wrong. And I did all those and it was still doing the same thing. So at the end of everything, it said it was basically user error, operator error. And I'm not really happy with that. I want to know what's wrong with it because if I can't fix it, if it's operator error, I need to know what I'm doing wrong or I need to um, take it in and get it serviced. So I went ahead and I actually found one more YouTube video and it is by a guy who services ser sewing machines. And um, so I think I found the problem for it. I'm gonna go ahead and switch camera angles and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, I apologize if this is gonna get a little bit loud. It's because y'all are closer to the sewing machine. This is a Singer. Um, HD 6380, I believe. Some of the other things were that you were starting too close to the edge of the fabric. I usually use a leader cloth, so I don't think that was it, but I'm going to go ahead and start a little bit back. And that you weren't leaving enough tails, so I'm leaving some tails. So let's go ahead and see how far we get with this, and I apologize if my hand is going to be in the way. And it's already making noises. And I've lost my thing and it is jammed up on me. So, let me go ahead and take this plate off. And we can see what's going on. Um, and hopefully fix it. Okay. Um, so then let me see. Let me get the needle up. So look at all that mess. Let me go ahead and soak. Get this out. Okay. So it was jamming up, and this time it doesn't have any extra strings. The last time it did, let me get. Okay, let me press pause. I'll be right back. Okay, I got it off. So I'm going to take off this silver piece right here. Careful not to drop it because I've done that once. I'm actually just going to go ahead and remove this black piece too silver piece so okay so then I started to look at what this guy said he said something about a um, needle strike and I noticed that there's a bunch of fat of um, thread that was bunching up on the back and I wasn't sure if that had anything to do with it or not. So I took it all apart and what I found is that right here, focus. Right in here, there, there is an actual slit and it's 
a piece of thread can fit in there and several pieces of thread were fitting in there and actually um uh kind of see it right there too cutting the thread and that's what was causing oh there you go well let's focus for a minute focus and that's what was causing all of the problems so I also found another one here at the front right here so I went ahead and I bought from Amazon from Honey So um, another one of these bobbin cases I actually bought two and they look identical I'm going to check the back no slits on the back I was looking at it in the light so I'm going to go ahead and drop this one in making sure that everything is lined up properly put that silver piece back on I don't know what the name of this is I'm sure it has something to do with the tension but I'm not or with oh, come on Okay, don't do that. Why are you not going back in there? There. Okay. So let me go ahead and get this guy back in there now which was a pain to get off. I did get it off. And then we will re-thread this. Now I have no idea how long that was like that for. I just know when it started to do the bird's nest stuff for me but I've been having problems with it for a little bit longer than that um so I think I just finally kind of caught up okay this machine and you can hopefully have seen I don't know I didn't get a good, pretty good shot of it of the the fact that the machine itself is clean. There's no lint in there or anything like that. There it goes. Okay. Let me grab... My tool. It's going to take forever. Don't want to over tighten it. Okay, so those two are done. Let me go ahead and grab my. Um, I'm just gonna grab any spool. I'll grab this orange one here. Okay, I'm really hoping I can piece this video together because it's been, I don't even know how many different takes at this point now. Um, but let me go ahead and get this back on. <sighs> okay, and we will go ahead and try to sew some more. And... These at least drop in pretty easily. 
I say that and I'm going to have problems. Ugh. It's been one of those mornings and it's only 7.30. Of course, I have not had coffee yet. So, that could be part of the problem. Okay, so I am just going to go ahead and re-thread this. And I'm going to snip off the end of the um, the thread that kind of broke with that. Okay. Oops. said one of those mornings okay so that's threaded this it's going to be threaded okay so let me go ahead and actually sew. I'm going to use the same piece of fabric. I'm just going to sew from the other side. And see. Same thing. Making sure that those, the strings are past that. Making sure that the fabric is not up at the edge of where the needle is. And let's just see what happens. So this is not a quarter inch, so I'm going to stop there because I have to get it out. But, oh goodness, come on. But, as you can see, nice stitching, even stitching, both sides, so happy. Okay, I have some binding I have to stitch together really quick, and then I'm going to head downstairs because I have to log into work. Um, so yeah, so if you have problems with your sewing machine and you just cannot figure it out, it may not be tension, it may not be user error, it may just be that you have a bad bobbin case. So look at the bobbin case, look for any strikes, look for any splits, anything of that nature. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I hope that this helps somebody. I hope I can get all of this edited together into one concise video. Um, but yeah, I will talk to y'all later. Bye.